what I'm doing here, I'm doing a follow-up. I just did a session about an hour and a half ago with a uh, little Frenchie with some bad manners, uh, jumping at the door, obsessively being aggressive, attacking vacuum cleaners, attacking mops, attacking everything. Now, I've given the owner the tools how to deal with this, and what I've come back to do is a little scenario here where I'm going to be the visitor again. And I'm going to say nothing. I'm go I've given her the tools. I'm going to see how she deals with it. We're using... We're being... Nice and firm on this dog, no little, we're giving food if it sits and does the right thing, but getting it to stop its behavior requires a firm voice and being on this dog's level because it wasn't responding at all to be nicey nice and all the positive reinforcement, it needed a firm voice and physically being put in position. So let's do this, I'm going to do a little test, go to the door, knock on the door, be the visitor, she's going to give me all the skills of what I should do when I enter. And we'll see how we go. So I've got some footage I put at the start here. You'll see how it was jumping at the door. It'll probably still jump, but it comes down to whether Holly, the owner, can uh, switch this dog off, put it in position, and I get a chance to reward this dog. It's all about having the skills and being prepared. She knows I'm coming, but I've told her to do this with visitors, have the lead on the dog. Give yourself as much chance for success as possible. Be set up to, to be successful in whatever exercise, as in not giving commands you can't enforce. We don't want to do that. So uh, let's see how this goes when I go to the door. So here we go. It's, uh, it even goes off at the rake at the door. So expect some barking and we'll see how this uh, training's been going and see if you can switch this dog off. Hello? Leave it. Leave it. Sit. Hi, so what do I do when I come in? Well, I'll give you some of these. Okay. Um, I'll pull him back and tell him to go back. And where, do I give him any food or what do I do? Yeah, you can give him some food when he comes in and just ignore him. Okay, but do I give it when he's standing up or when he no, sits? No, How do so I when do he it? sits down, so... And then I just, okay, so I just come, where do I put my hands? Do I... Keep your hands away from him. Okay, so I'll just come in. I'll just give you some food. Okay, no worries. I'll get him back. Six, okay, Biggie, what's, he, what's his back. name? Biggie. Biggie, okay. Back. Biggie, sit. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Okay, so I'll come in. Yep. Back. So I'll give him the food? Yep. Okay, you're a nice dog. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm just going to walk around the lounge. You want more food off me? Whoa, you're not the dog. Good boy. You're not the dog that I met an hour ago. Wow. So Holly's like a dentist. She doesn't want to be on video. You know the dental ads? Wow. So when I tell him to do a command, what do I do? If I want to make him sit, what do I do? You're the dog trainer. How do I make him sit? Um, I guess tree in your hand. Do I say anything before I give the command? Um, I guess just sit once. Okay. Yeah, but do I say anything before I give the command? What's his name? Biggie. Okay, so what do I do? So Biggie sit. Okay, is that so what you I'll, do? yeah, I'll, this is Holly's the dog trainer now. Biggie, <laughs> what's this? Biggie, sit. Oh, I should be a dog trainer with that voice. Good boy, you're my friend now. Good dog. Hey, Biggie. Say hello. Well, there you have it. That was amazing. That made my day. Now, this dog's still got a lot of work to do. Absolutely. But the owner, Holly, was amazing. She was a different owner. She learned how to communicate on a dog's level. This is what I talked about in the whole session. And I'm always telling you guys, you need to learn to operate on their level. And the biggest mistake we do that anthropomorphism, we put human qualities. We want please and thank you and we offend, be offended this is not like that with dogs. I really believe in the firm but fair approach with a lot of handlers that do and a lot that don't. Some people, have, all they use is positive reinforcement. If you saw this dog when I was in there attacking the vacuum cleaner, attacking everything, the food was a tool to keep its attention. But before the food, it was reprimand. It was a fir very firm vo voice and corrections with the lead. The dog loved me more than it did when it first met me. And even I was firm on it because it understands my communication. It respects my communication. 
It responds to authority and leadership. Now, you guys out there need to understand this. Stop being so soft on your dog. I'm not advocating to be cruel and hit your dog. You never need to hit them. But you need to communicate on their level with a, with your voice inflection. If you're telling a dog no, it's not no, it's no. It's short. It's sharp. Okay? Sit is sit, not sit, would you mind? You need to get better at your voice inflection. But that was a great example of good success from one video to the next. Like I said, dog's still got work to do. I'm sure it's still going to have its days. But now... The owner has the tools to now go further with this and progress and progress and progress. How far you progress with the dog really comes down to how much you want to practice, how much you want to follow the rules, or you want to be lazy. If you're going to tell your dog to not jump at the door and you say, leave it, and it jumps and you don't get off the lounge, well, that's on you. That is not the dog. Dogs are instinctive. They talk, take opportunities when you give them to them. If you follow through, they'll stop. Now, this dog tried to nip me a couple of times. The aggression wasn't okay. It redirected towards me, but it wasn't aggression as in wanting to attack me and wanted to attack the vacuum cleaner. I reprimanded the dog. It redirected on me, but I was ready for it as a handler. It tried. I reprimanded. It tried once and never tried again. This is the thing. I won. I had the battle with the dog verbally more than anything, and I didn't give in. The dog went, well, you're the boss. It now knows. And now the owner is getting her leadership going up in the pack. When I went today, she was down here, the dog up here, and now that has switched but that being said, it can switch back just as quick. So you need to stay very consistent with your dogs. Train them every day in some way. I always use that quote, which is make them sit when they eat, sit at the door, walk by your side, all of these basic things, but remind them who is in control. So that was a great session. Remember to practice with your training, set up scenarios. If your dog jumps and barks at the door, recreate that. Have someone come to the door like me, bang, bang, bang on the door, Try and set the dog off and then you be ready inside to re redirect the dog towards you with positive reinforcement, food, leave it or reprimand, whatever it is. But you've got to mark the behavior. Marking is the jumping on the door, mark it with a reprimand, leave it and clap the hands or whatever you use and then reward for the correct behavior. Dogs want correct behavior. They want food. They want pats. They very quickly figure out, hmm. I think I'd rather the pats and food than being told off all day. So they make that choice. But you have got to be consistent with your training. Practice hard and you will get the results.